Hey guys, it's Paige on Cover Books, and I'm here to do it in my mailbox with Jake. You guys haven't seen him in forever. Did you miss him? Say hi. Let me put it in reverse. Um, so yeah, I have quite a few books. I, I think I think maybe two of them could possibly be repeats. Maybe three, I'm not sure. I can't remember. I don't even know. When I like I've been so behind on showing my books that I don't even know which ones I've shown and which ones I haven't, so who cares? If you maybe seen it, I it doesn't matter. Oops, I just swiped you guys off the screen. Jake. <laughs> I just swiped you guys off the screen. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with the package I opened today. I start college September 3rd, and for one of my, I think it's for my comp, actually no, it's for SNU 101, because um, I'm going to Southern New Hampshire University, and one of the classes, required classes, is SNU, or SNHU 101, and for that class I needed this book. Uh, a Lesson Before Dying by Ernest J. Gaines. No clue what it's about. I just know that I have to read it. I, I think it's for in, in class. I don't think I have to read it over the summer, but I might read it over the summer just to get a little bit more ahead so I know what's going on because I don't want to get behind, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I got that one. Um, I got this one a while ago, but I don't think I showed it to you, so I'm going to show you. show it to you. Hopefully I didn't already show it to you. Um, the Boundless by Kenneth Opal. I got this at work. As you know, I borrow books from work often. Sorry, I'm covering your face, Jake. That's what it looks like. That's the back. It's a nice finished copy, too. Uh, and it just came with a little letter, and then it also came with this cool little praise thing. So, yeah, it's cute. Hopefully I'll read it soon. And then I started signing up for shelf awareness um, emails and like entering the giveaways and stuff. And I've actually been doing pretty well on the arcs and stuff. And one of them I just recently got in the mail was Vampires of Manhattan by Melissa De La Cruz. This, I think, is supposed to be her vampire, like her Blue Bloods novels, but the characters are all grown up. I think that's what this is supposed to be. Uh, that's what it says on the back. It says um, her new adult novel in which her blue bloods immortals have matured and are now exposed to new challenges new loves new threats and a hot hot hipster lifestyle so i'm not sure if i have to read the blue blood series before i read this if you guys know let me know because i really want to read this but yeah you're terrible you're not even paying attention you're just playing on snapchat a little bit. maybe i'll put his snapchat down below you guys can follow him Another thing that I just bought recently, which I'm so in love with, is the Book Lover's Journal. This is actually not a book, but it's so amazing. Like, if you are a book lover I and you review books, I would definitely recommend this. It's so cool. Like, first it starts off with your stuff, and then it's you make your own table of contents, which I think is really cool. Like, these are my books that I've written so far, and then each book has a two-page spread. This, so this is the first book that I did, and I already finished it. Those are all the notes and stuff. And then, let's see, there's cool stuff in the back, too. Like, there's a place for books I'd like to read. So I started off doing that. And that and this, is a, you, this is your table of contents, because you also make your own table of contents. And then you write the book title and, like, information about it in there. And then there's... Books, places for you to write down where you got your books, like Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Paperback Swap. You write down all the contact information, which I haven't done yet, but I will soon. Stop. And then there's a place for you to write down books that you borrowed. Books I've lent, which is pretty handy, actually. Um, books I've given, books I want to give. And then... There's like a book group info, so like if you have a, a book club or anything, notes for that, and then contacts for anybody in the club. And then there's cool things like acclaimed authors and books, so there's lists of books. I mean, first there's lists of like novels that have won prizes and stuff, and authors. And then there's amazing books that they have picked in different genres, like fiction, nonfiction drama, poetry, and then there's these questions they have, like favorite books, favorite authors, stuff like that. Um, so this thing is the coolest thing ever, and I definitely recommend getting this. It's normally, 
uh, normally it's fourteen ninety nine, but I have thirty percent off because I work there, so I got it for ten forty nine, and it wasn't bad. That's not bad at all. It's a little bit pricey, but this thing is so worth it. Like it's amazing. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. And then the next book, which I'm reading right now because I'm going to college soon, is College One Hundred One: A Girl's Guide to Freshman Year. I feel like I've sh I'm pretty sure I've showed this already, but just in case I haven't, I started reading it. That's why I'm showing it again pretty cool I'm liking it so far it's got some good info and then another book that I'm pretty sure I've already showed but I'm reading it right now anyway so I might as well show that night by Chevy Stevens um, undercover what happened they said she was a murderer they said she killed her sister but they lied so it's about a girl who gets a girl and her boyfriend who gets um, blamed for the murder of her sister but she didn't do it I guess and so yeah I'm really not that far in yet so I can't really explain but it's really good so far. Jake, do you have anything to say? He's being shy. I don't know why. Another book that I got recently, I, I imagine from Shelf Awareness Giveaways and stuff because I don't remember requesting it or anything. I don't remember winning it. So, Wanted Dead or In Love by Kyan Brunner. So that is it's a nice finished copy. Came with like a little thing. And so the outlaw lovers Bonnie and Clyde are back, hell bent on, on possessing a teenage girl in love with their legend. So it looks pretty cool. I'm excited to read that. Another thing I got quite a while ago, I just didn't show, is Grim. Um, um, it's just a big anthology with all kinds of authors like Ellen Hopkins, Julie Cagua, Amanda Hawking, a bunch of other authors, but all put together in one fairy tale, which I like. Oh, there's all in the back. Inspired by classic fairy tales, but with a dark and sinister twist, Grimm contains short stories from some of the best voices in young adult literature. Jackson Pierce, Christine Johnson, Jerry Smith Reddy, Claudia Gray, Sean David Hutchinson, Rachel Hawkins, Kimberly Durding, Ma Mira McIntyre, Sarah Reese Brennan, Tessa Gratton. Those are the only ones I actually have heard of, so there's more back there, but I don't know any of those. All right. And then I got at work an arc of Big Little Lies by Lee Leanne Moriarty. She's a pretty good, well-known author. She has one out. She, well, she has more than one, but she, one that I've, I've known so far as a husband's secret. That goes pretty. That sells pretty nicely at work. So that's why I knew her, and I grabbed this because it looks pretty good. And it's a big chunker too. I'm excited. It comes out July 29th because it's an arc. Another uh, thing I got, I don't remember why, I don't remember how I got this, but it's an arc of Hourglass by Mira McIntyre. I'll just show you with the sticky note. I like this, it's cool. I've always wanted this, and it's an old, it's really an old arc. It says Amazon Vine, but you don't buy arc, so I guess, I don't know. I don't know, but that looks good. And then last but not least, uh, I recently won, I think I showed this too, but I'm not sure. I recently won Sinner by Maggie Stiefvater. I didn't even care if I showed it already because this was an amazing book and I'm glad to show it again. This is, if you guys know, um, Shiver, Linger, Forever, all part of the Wolves of Mercy Falls trilogy. Um, this is 3.5. So it's the next book in the series, but it's not based on Sam and Grace. It's based on... Cole and Isabel and this book oh my god this book was so good I read and reviewed it already the review will come up tomorrow and then oh I hope you read it because it's so good and it comes out July 1st so that's everything um thanks for watching you have anything to say Jake really you can't speak words nothing they were here to talk but they like to hear you talk okay anyways thanks for watching bye